what you say of me, Jesus.
as we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord, we will wait upon the Lord. Our God, you reign forever, our hope, our strong Crystal again. The everlasting God. We will yes, see her again. You if we believe. Do you believe? Yes. She's sleeping with Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. So now we're still waiting on the deacon. But we will invite God's Holy Spirit. The Spirit who gives life. The Spirit who gives strength. The spirit who gives comfort. The spirit who is always there for us. Without God's Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. We are all baptized in the name of the Holy, in the name of the Holy Spirit. So let us welcome God's Holy Spirit, and then we will have some praise and worship, glorifying God for the life of Crystal. Amen? Amen. Presence, oh God. Oh, fill us with your power, Lord. Come, Lord, and take control. Live inside of us. Oh, welcome, 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 Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power, God. Live inside of us. Ah, you are the living water. You're the living water. Let your water fall now, Lord God. Comfort her, comfort her. Comfort your people, oh Lord God. Take complete control. Oh, Holy Spirit of God, come, 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 come. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence, Lord. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Touch your people, oh God. us. Welcome Holy Spirit. Spirit come and take control. Welcome Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. We are in your presence Lord. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. your people oh God. Take complete control of oh Holy Spirit of God. Oh Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, welcome. We are in your presence. We are in your Fill us with your power. us. Fill us with your power, O oh God. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. Spirit 
of the living God take control. Only you that can do it, O oh God. For you are God, the Holy One, the Mighty One, the Living God. Some might say, why did he take her? But God alone knows. We do not know. He is in control. And so we give him all the glory, all the praise, and the honor. Yes, Lord. And I've seen the deacon, so we will sing one more time. Welcome, Holy Spirit, as he comes in. Sing that as we gather in this place today while we wait on the deacon, Holy Spirit, come and have your way. As we gather in this, place, Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Have your way. Amen. As we lay aside the hearts and let them be a living sacrifice. Have your way, O oh God. Yes, this is your house.
this place as we gather in this place today. Holy Spirit, come and have your way. Have your way. As we lay aside our own desires, we our hearts. This is your house. This is your house. Your home. Your home. We welcome you. We welcome you. Lord, we welcome you. This is your house. Your home. We welcome you today. We welcome you, Lord. Welcome you, Jesus. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you today. Yes, Lord, we welcome you. Let us just quiet our ourselves as we prepare to begin the service as our deacon has arrived. Stand. We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Crystal Lovely died with Christ 
and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Entrance song. My brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our strength in Christ. Christo, by dying, Jesus Christ, by dying on the cross, has freed us from eternal death, and by rising, has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our sister Christo, that she may share in Christ's victory, and let us pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. On the behalf of Belafort Parish, we'd like to extend our condolences to the family of Christelle Lovely, that the good Lord will continue to strengthen you at this moment as you mourn for the loss of your dear one. At this moment, let us sit down and listen to the eulogy and the tributes. Pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Uh, on behalf of my family, the Lovells and Crystal's family, we'd like to thank you for being here to sympathize with us. I am not going to actually read from a paper. It's my sister, so I know her very well. Crystal Lovell Hughes. Crystal, Gis Crystal was born Crystal Giselle Lovell to the parents of David Lovell, now deceased and Patricia Lavelle Ramirez. She is the third out of seven children on my father's side 
and the second of five children on her mother's side. After her father subsequently died, Christelle moved to Tobago, where she took residence at our grandmother's place. Crystal and I formed a bond there because we truly became sisters at that point. You couldn't see Crystal without you seeing me, and our grandmother had a full of us. My family also took Crystal as a niece, being my sister, so automatically she became their niece as well, and a daughter to my mother. At the age of 17, Crystal became a mother for the first time, bearing the son, Kadim Baston, and later on, she had another son, Darim. The strange thing is, Crystal gave birth to Kadim on the death anniversary of our father several years after. So we always joked about it, that she had a reason never to remember the date of his passing. During that relationship, Crystal had reason to leave for, a bet for betterment of herself. And during that period, she lived with me at a rented house with my family, my, including my children. So we became even closer. When Crystal moved to Scarborough due to work and a new relationship, we got separated by space, but not by time because of internet and all of these things. So we call each other regularly and keep a tab of each other. So being that when Amaya was born several years into that relationship, during the night shift, whenever I work night and the driver is going to Scarborough to drop off our co-workers who live there then, I will call Crystal, hey, I'm coming for my daughter. And she will just see me show up on her door. She will have Amaya's bag packed and just handed her to me. So Amaya became mine as well, not just my sister's. So we enjoyed that bond. Because of Amaya, we became even closer. Crystal got married several months into giving birth to Amaya to her now husband, Kelly Hughes, which they lived and formed a uh, family in Scarborough. Crystal worked with the Sentinel Security Services, which later on she moved to MTS, where she was employed at the time of her passing. Crystal had a, br a brief illness. She started off with a her foot spur, giving problems, and then later on, is excruciating back pain that will cause her to be in and out of the hospital sometime every other day. This led to the doctors telling her, manage your pain, it's premenopausal and all sorts of nonsense. On the 6th of May, Crystal got up paralyzed. That was devastating because all she wanted to do was to take care of her daughter, Amaya. The daughter that she never wanted to die and leave behind. Though she loved her sons, Darim and Kadim, Amaya was topmost because of the fact that she's a girl and she's still young. This was a most trying time for Crystal, being laid on her back, can't do anything for herself, and not really, know, not really knowing what was taking place with her health or her body or her future life. Crystal's main aim was to get up, walk again, and see about Amaya. Amaya, your mommy loved you. And as we asked, keep your head up, make her proud. Crystal died on the 1st of July. She died with no family member alongside her. Friday night, Miss Wilson, a very good friend of hers, and one of our uncle Peter, was the last person to see her alive from the family circle. Calls went unanswered during that Friday night. Messages went unread, and we found it strange. We got up early that morning, and we tried again, and nothing. That caused us to worry. We tried all our best. We couldn't find out anything, and it wasn't until my sister and her brother went to the hospital, and a long wait that we found out Crystal died that morning alone. But I thank God that she knew God, so God was with her. She's in no more pain and no more sorrow. And no one should try to tell us not to cry, not to mourn, for we are in grieving. And my good Lord said in the Bible, there is a time to mourn, and this is our time. It's a time that comes for everyone. So if you see me after, don't tell me not to cry. You can tell me today, tomorrow, but not today. Right? Crystal would be lovingly remembered and cherished by all of us. Her IBO family, who she's always chatting with on Facebook, many of them are not here today, but they send 
They express sympathies and condolences to the family, to Amaya, Kelly, Karim, and everybody else. To you watching from the IBO, we appreciate you. Crystal loved you all, and I hope she's smiling down at all that you have said and thinking of her. Miss Wilson, you are dear to Crystal. You were not just a friend, but you was a mother figure to her. She appreciated you, and I appreciated you even more. From I met you to today, and it will continue. Miss Murray, you are dear to Crystal, and I appreciate you. To Charlene, Aloma, and all the others that I came in contact with, Crystal loved you dearly, and I know she wished the best for you. Continue to make her proud. I think this is it. No, there's one more thing. Crystal loved life. She was divine. And in all of that, she turned to God, not just for her sickness, but before. And in a very serious conversation, she said to me, Jeanette, when I get out of here, when I can walk again, I'm going and give my life to God and serve him forever. Me being a Christian, I said, sis, no, no, no. I said, you're already serving him. You accepted him, and it starts now. Even if it wasn't serious, it starts now. I said, he placed you on your back for a reason, and let him know that you have understood what that reason is. So I pray today, and I encourage you all, seek God, for he is our only hope. All right, at this time, we are going to accept the three tributes. We have four, Kanika Murray, is Kanika here, followed by the three tributes. Good afternoon, church to the family and friends of Crystal. Please accept my sympathy. Today I pray for strength to sing. Crystal was very dear to me, very close. I'm hurting today for many reasons, but what consoles me is the fact that Crystal knew God and I know she is safe in his arms may her soul rest in peace Amen. oh Lord my God when I know someone there Considered all the words thy hands have made. I see the stars and I hear the rolling thunder.
how great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God to be. That God, His Son, not sparing, sent Him to die. I scarce can take it in that on the cross.
Today is a day to celebrate. Today is a day to mourn. Whichever we choose, we do it in honor of the deceased Lovell. And we say to a husband, a daughter, a family, extended family, be of good cheer. Because we believe that when the role is called, she will be there. Crystal Lovell Hughes was fondly known to the MTS family, simple as Miss Lovell. But she worked with me for quite a while at Bishops. We used to call her Turkey. I wouldn't tell you why, but it's a good reason. She enrolled in the security division of the National Maintenance Training and Security Company, MTS, on the 1st of February, 2015. She worked at several locations within the Tobago region and performed at an excellent standard every time. Upon her entry to MTS, Crystal received her basic security training. She thereafter completed all the relevant processes and was awaiting to acquire her precept and become an estate constable. Unfortunately, she never received it. One noteworthy thing about Crystal is that she was indeed a very humble giant. So there is where the turkey comes in, of a woman. At close to six feet tall, with mostly solid muscles complemented with a serious face, she was not the kind of person one would want to take on. Crystal never liked to be involved in gossip and will talk. She would normally greet you with a warm smile and ask, so how are you going? Whenever there was a staff shortage or any situation where an officer was needed urgently, you can most certainly depend on her to report for whatever assignment she was needed to execute. As she would often say when called, let me just finish what I'm doing here, and I will come. Her dedication to duty was indeed extraordinary. Crystal would be greatly missed by all those in this noble company who knew her well. She was that kind of individual who can be described as a favorite. However, you could not find her jostling loudly at the front of any crowd. Instead, she would be in the background, quietly observing everything that takes place as a real security. Some major locations where she displayed her excellence services are Bishops High School, Mason Hall Secondary School, Office of the Ombudsman, and Tongue and Country Planning, just to name a few. On every occasion, when her assignment comes to an end and she has to be assigned somewhere else, the client will not want her to go. The question will most time be, why Miss Lovell? Such was the impact Crystal created. Without a doubt, she was a dedicated and committed worker who served this company with the kind of distinction that is not easy to emulate. To the family, you can put your hope in the scripture taken from Revelation chapter 21, verse 4, which say, and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. To the relatives, colleagues, friends, and well-wishers, too numerous to mention, on behalf of the CEO of MTS and the executive of MTS family, 
we extend sincere condolences. We pray that God's strength and grace be multiplied unto you in the coming days. May the fondness of memories keep you going and her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. We're going to sing a song for Miss Lovell on behalf of the MPS. God sent his son, they call him Jesus, he came to love, he and forgive, he lived and died, to buy my pardon, and empty Savior Lamb, because He lived, I confess tomorrow, because He lives, oh, fear is gone, because
Anyone else? We have two more. Good afternoon, everybody. So before I start, I'll just introduce myself. I am Miss Wright. I am from Goodwood Secondary School. So on behalf of our school, on behalf of our school, we want to extend our sincerest condolences to the family and friends, and everybody, all the well wishers here. I am Amaya's form teacher. Um, I really wasn't expecting to do this this afternoon, but our principal is a little late. So here I am. I cannot sing like the two persons who went before, so I'll ask the choir to give me some assistance in the end. And I'll just tell you all a little bit. Amaya has been at Goodwood Secondary School for three years now. Um, Christelle, which I learned her name long after, is the first parent in my form class that I had a bond with. So Amaya would have started Goodwood Secondary School during the online period. So all I had was this WhatsApp pity of this person who would call repeatedly and text repeatedly because everything when it came to Amaya had to be right. So I would say, Amaya, your mother cared. I would even say she over cared. And I heard all these lovely things being mentioned about Crystal. Nobody is saying that Crystal used to quarrel real plenty. To the point where I used to feel she was buffing me sometimes. And I used to have to say, no, no, no. No, it's okay. Amaya could walk from here to there. That's okay. Because as far as she was concerned, Amaya walking from here to there meant that Amaya could get in trouble. So that walk from here to there, because she was very protective, had to be a supervised walk. Right? And I would go further to say, Amaya, take solace. Your mother loved you. She did mention very early o'clock um, that she had two elder sons, all right? I didn't meet them personally. I met daddy afterward because mommy is the vocal one, if you all know Christelle. And I would say that if we had more parents like Christelle, we would have a better country and a better world. <laughs> I am not saying that I had a very extra special bond with Crystal because when I thought that I was the only teacher in the staff room, every, oh, Amaya, mommy called you? Yeah. Amaya was 15 minutes late from reaching home from school. So half the staff room get a, a phone call or a text message, sir, sir, you teach Amaya this evening? Because Amaya didn't reach home yet. We had a very good bond, she and myself. Uh, when she found out what was going on, she calls me. And I even joked, I said, you don't have no other friends. Why you wanted to call me and tell me this? Um, she wanted me to look out because Amaya did not know anything yet. So it was a secret that I had to keep looking at Amaya in school, making sure she was okay. All this to say, Amaya, as hard as it is, life goes on. We're going to make mommy proud because she went the extra, extra, extra mile to make sure everything regarding you was where it was supposed to be. All right, so on behalf of Goodwood Secondary School, our condolences with Crystal rest in perfect peace. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Condolences to family, to friends. My name is Aloma Woods, and I have known Crystal for over two decades. We met when she came to work in one of the establishments I, I was at that point in time, which was the NLCB. And Crystal is a gentle giant. She is fun-loving, easygoing, 
and Crystal really made you check yourself, evaluate yourself. She was never pr too proud to call and seek advice. Sometimes she would call and she would say, Aluma, what do you think about this? She would call me a lot of times to speak to Amaya because she wanted the best for not only Amaya but for all her children. I remember when she was diagnosed, she said that, you know, she wants to get better. She wants to see her children continue to grow and to continue to prosper and to continue to do well. On reflection, Crystal's life was about service. She served others and she served God. Despite being ill, she held on to the promise of God. And my advice for all of us today is to do the same, to hold on to God's word despite the circumstances. Crystal was strong. She was unbelievably strong despite her diagnosis. I remember years ago, she gave me a gift. And time passed. And about 15 years after, she called me a day upset. And I said, Crystal, wait, I have something to tell you. And I told her, I said, remember there was a time you gave me something? And she said, what was that? And I told her it was a piece of paper. A piece of paper that I would have photocopied. And on that paper was a simple paper that had Bible emergency numbers. And I photocopied that paper and stuck it up on my wall. And when I moved, I stuck it to the new location where I was living. And on that paper it said, emergency numbers, and it had scriptures for every situation that you would have undergone. And it said, when in sorrow, read John 7, 14. When men fail you, read Matthew, verses 19 to 26. When you have sinned, read Psalms 51. When you have worry, read Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 to 34. When you're in danger, read Psalm 91. When God seems far away, read Hebrews 11. When your faith needs stirring, read Psalms 23. When you are lonely and fearful, read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. When you grow bitter and critical, read Romans 8, 31 to 39. When you feel down and out, read Matthew chapter 11, verses 25 to 30. When you want peace and rest, read Psalm 90. When the world seems bigger than God, read Romans 8, chapter, chap, eight, Romans chapter 8, verses 1 to 30. When you want Christian assurance, read Psalm 121. When you feel weak, read Isaiah 41:10. When you feel unworthy, read John 8. When you feel doubtful, read Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 32. When life seems confusing, read Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. And this list of emergency numbers is what all of us can tap into today for strength, for guidance, for sorrow, for overcoming, for peace. Because at the end of it all, none of us are here to stay. We're all just here for a short time. And in the duty and each of every one of us is to seek after God and to serve him. And even though we may be heartbroken today, even though we may be sorrowful, Crystal, she has fulfilled her purpose and her duty. She has served after God, and she has tried to live her life pleasing to God. And that is what we should also remember arising out of Crystal's life. Thank you. All right, this brings us to the end of our tribute. We're now going to the liturgy of the word.
and we ask Nikisha to come forward to do the reading. Let us pray. Please all stand. O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your son, sorry, your daughter died and your son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Christel who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated for the reading. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will prepare for all peoples a banquet of rich food. On this mountain, he will remove the mourning veil covering all peoples and the shroud enwrapping all nations. He will destroy that forever. The Lord will wipe away the tears from every cheek. He will take away his people's shame everywhere on earth. For the Lord had said so. That day it will be said, See, this is our God, in whom we hoped for salvation. The Lord is the one in whom we hoped, we exult, and we rejoice, that he has saved us, the word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, he is more than all his care. Fresh and green are the pastures where he leads me to.
Let's please stand for the gospel of acclamation. and the life says the Lord whoever believes in me will never die Gospel according to John. On arriving at Bethany, Jesus found that, Nathan, that Lazarus had been in the tomb for four days already. Bethany is only about two miles from Jerusalem. And many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to sympathize with them over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, Whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. The gospel, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Someday, someday, I go where Jesus leads. Someday, someday, I go where Jesus leads. Someday, someday, I go where Jesus leads. Meet him in the air someday, someday. I go where Jesus is someday, someday. I go where Jesus is someday, someday. I go where. Go to meet him in the air. 
Jesus is. Our sister Crystal, she has gone to meet a savior. Today is her day to meet the Lord. Tomorrow is you and I. How am I going to meet the Lord? To left to myself and you. Brothers and sisters, one of the greatest crises that we face in our world today is not so much fear of hurricane, it's not so much fear of nuclear, it's not so much fear of an enemy, but the fear of death. Why? Because it comes to each and every one. It comes for you and for me. Because we cannot hide from death. We can't hide from death. It comes for everybody. Whether you are young or old, it comes. Whether you are handsome or beautiful, it comes. Whether you are a billionaire or a millionaire, it comes. Whether you are rich or poor, it comes. It comes. It is always on the way, waiting for us. It comes. Faced with death, most especially the death of our dear ones, we feel broken. We feel powerless. We feel like life has no meaning. We feel like that's the end of the world. But let me tell you something. The good news is that death has no power. Death has no power because Jesus Christ has conquered death forever and ever, world without end. Death has no power. No matter it comes in its ways, it has no power. St. Paul reminds us in his letter to the Romans that if we have lived and if we have died with Christ, we will also live with Christ. Crystal, she, lived in, she believed in Christ because she was baptized as a Christian. And being baptized as a Christian we know that when she was immersed in that water, when the priest poured that water on her forehead, she went down with the Lord. And now we believe that she's in heaven. Crystal is no longer dead, but Crystal is alive. I'm coming from Africa, where, believe, where we believe that people don't die, but people change. Though we are missing Crystal, Crystal has just changed. Yes, we have to mourn psychologically to get rid of that grief. But spiritually, Crystal, she's in heaven. And if you have been paying extra attention to our first reading today, we have heard about God doing something very special on the mountain. He said that through the words of prophet Isaiah, on that mountain, I'm going to throw a party. Our God is a God of party. 
You think only twin is love parties? No. God is a God of party. He likes to celebrate. He likes to rejoice with his people. So he said, on that mountain, I will make a feast. And I will invite all the people. Why prophet Isaiah coming up with this prophecy? It's because people this time, they had sinned. They had turned away from God. They had started to do all kinds of wicked things. And what Isaiah saw is the judgment coming upon the people. And God had determined that I'm going to sweep away all these people. However, things changed. And Isaiah saw something different. He saw that they were, there is no longer going to be that judgment. There is no, no longer going to be that anger of God. But there is going to be a celebration. On this mountain, I'm going to feast with my people. On this mountain, I'm going to rejoice with my people. With all the people. We might be mourning for Christo, but Christo, she's having a good time with the Lord in heaven. Because on this mountain, it is not only the Jews who are called, but all the people of all the nation. All the people are called. Whether you're a Jew or a Greek, everybody is called. And Christo is one of them who is on that mountain celebrating. She's having a good time, but we are mourning for her. There's no need to mourn. Because Christo, she is with the Lord. She is with her maker. Prophet Isaiah continued to remind us, he continued to console us, and he said that on this mountain, I'm going to take away all the the, the, the power that covers my people. I'm going to take, to take away all the show that is, is covering over the nation. We've got to understand the images which Prophet Isaiah is using here. This veil which cover over all the people is the veil which caused us to sin. The veil which caused the original sin of our ancestors, Adam and Eve. When they disobeyed God, death came. But as we heard in the, book, in the prophecy of Prophet Isaiah, that death will be no more because the veil is going to be taken away on this mountain. Isaiah was talking about Mount Zion, which is the coincidence of the Mount Calvary. Where Jesus Christ in his great love, he came and took away all our sins by his own blood. And we come to the shroud that covered all the nation. What is this shroud? It is the curtain that separated the holies of holies and the sinners. If you remember very careful, when we go through the way of the cross, and we say the curtain of the temple was torn into two. It reminds us that before we could not have a direct connection with God. There, there was that veil that separated us from connecting ourselves to God. That's why we used to have the altar and the animal used to be sacrificed to God. But now no more sacrifice because Jesus Christ has come to take away all our problems. He has come to solve our problems, so now we have a direct access to God. The lamb was slaughtered for my sin and your sin, so that we will have that direct connection with God. And so there is no more suffering. There is no more mourning because our God has conquered death. Death has no power. Because he has been conquered by our Savior. And as we have heard in the, in the same prophecy that when the prophecy was almost ending, the people said, salvation is in our God. 
This is the Savior whom we have been waiting for. Our hope is in this Savior. Like the people of Isaiah time, we have been called to have hope. Crystal had a great hope. With all the things she did, of all the things that we have heard in our tributes and in the eulogy, it shows us who Crystal was. That she was a person of great hope. And this is the great hope that we have been called to stand on, brothers and sisters. As we have heard in, the, in our gospel text for today about Martha and Mary mourning for their brother, Lazarus. Mary and Martha, they had lost hope. Jesus Christ was a mile away. And when Mary heard that Jesus Christ is not going to come at the right time, when she needed him, she lost hope. But Jesus Christ comes and tells her, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. This is the promise, brothers and sisters, that we have been called to hold on. We have been called to have this great hope that if we believe in the Lord, like Mary and Martha, we will see our Lord. That if we believe in the Lord, our life is not going to end in death, but there is a new life. Because he has promised, and his promise is always true, that I am the resurrection and the life. Today, Christo is reminding us to hold on on that promise. When we hold on on that promise, without turning back, without looking back, we will meet our Savior because he has promised and his promise is always true. Today, as we lay down the remains of Christo, let us remember that death has no power. If we believe that Jesus Christ is the resurrection, is the resurrection and the life, we will conquer death forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we serve a God who longs to hear our prayers. We serve a, Lord, a God who longs to hear from our heart what bothers us most. And so now I invite you to stand and present our prayers before our God. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. For Christel, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that she may now be admitted to the company of saints, Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. For our sister, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that she may be raised up on the last day. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, 
that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. For the mourners, for the family and friends of our sister, Crystal, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord who wept at the death of his friend, Lazarus. Lord, hear us. For all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. Brothers and sisters, this is the prayer of the faithful. What else shall we ask the Lord in the silence of our heart? Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. We continue to bring all those who might be dying at this moment, those who are joining Crystal on the journey to new life, that the good Lord will continue to be with them, forgive them their sins, and welcome them into the gates of paradise. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious, hear us. God, our Father, you, sh you, our shelter and our strength. You listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayer we offer for our departed sister, Crystal. Cleanse her of her sins and grant her the fullness of redemption. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. A day. Savior's so command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now ever and ever. Amen. Lord God, give all peace and heal of soul. Hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people, whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the collection.
separate ways let us take leave of our sister crystal may our farewell express our affection for her may it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope one day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Crystal, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in partaking. There is sadness in parting. But we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Crystal again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ.
Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Christel. In the sure and certain hope that, together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Christel. In this life, there are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever and ever. Amen. To you, O Lord, we commend the soul of Christel, your servant. The sight of this world, she is now dead in your sight. May she live forever. Forgive whatever sin she committed through human weakness and in your goodness, grant her everlasting peace. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. stand. We gather here once again to commend our sister Christa to God, our Father, and to commit her body to the earth element. In the spirit of faith, in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, let us raise our voice in song and prayer for Crystal, because God has chosen to call her from this life to himself. We commit her body to the element of the earth, its resting place. For we are dust, and in dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change your mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise her up on the last day. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. 
Merciful Lord, you know the anguish and the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto Christ our Lord. Amen. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. And may the Lord, the God of peace, the God of love, the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, bless us and gently wipe every tear from our eyes in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the angel lead Christo into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome her and lead her to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome her and lead her into the bosom of Abraham, where Lazarus is poor no longer. May she find eternal rest. Go in peace of Christ. Thanks.
Show them the head. Come, come, come. The head. Swing, no swing. Show them the head. Put the head down here and swing. Uh, uh, and swing. Oh, 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 oh. Come over, come over. Put the head in. Okay, okay. Put it up, so. Put it up, so. Put the head in. Put it put on top. Swing the foot. Hold the head, hold the head there. Don't tell me I walk with the head in. Walk around. And I want to move around. So this. The head must be down here. The head must be down here. The head must be down here. God will. Enjoy, bring them down. Right. I don't like that. Somebody who was in This man is not a man. He should be able to try to do this part of the country. 
is my song.
water you turned into wine. Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. None like you. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. None like you. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power. Our God. Our God. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. None like. God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God, our God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than any other, our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God, our God. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what could stand against? What could stand against? Our God is greater, our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome and powerful. Mm-hmm. Look and high, 
Family of Divine Solution Our Home, which is located in Britain Hill, Roxburgh, Tobago. We would like to extend our sincere sympathy to the family, friend, loved one, well wishers, co workers of the deceased. And I pray that in your time of grief, that the Lord will grant you divine solace. And I pray that your anchor holds and gives a solid work. Thank you. Sing the meters song. Miss Lady, sing one time. Miss Lady, sing the meters song. God be with you till we meet again. God be with you till we meet again. La 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 la.
I 